What's up guys, Ruben here, and uh, today I'm taking a look at my first uh, Nexus 7 ROM, ROM, sorry. This isn't my ROM, maybe I worded that wrong, but uh, this is the first video I'm doing about a Nexus 7 ROM. So this ROM is called um, Paranoid Android, you may have heard of it. Basically this ROM has a tablet user interface, they call it hybrid mode. Uh, what that means is basically that you can have... Um, a mode that goes between the phone user interface of Android and the tablet interface. Um, you may know that dropping below a certain LCD density um, on Android devices enters this this uh, tablet mode. What I mean by that is, ever since Ice Cream Sandwich and up, you've obviously had the same operating system for tablets and phones, so um, Google needed to accommodate for both devices, and they have done. And uh, Paranoid Android ROM takes advantage of this, and you can mix and match between uh, certain aspects of tablet and phone user interfaces. Um, so first things first is your lock screen. This is obviously running Jelly Bean 4.1.1, so it's the latest version of Jelly Bean. And you get your common unlock uh, camera. If you've got a camera app installed, it will go to that. Uh, and I think there's one installed by default anyway. Um, and it also goes to Google Now if you swipe up, and Google Now obviously works fine um, and you can speak to talk etc you just click on that and then you can speak and um, yeah that didn't pick anything up but anyway you get the idea uh, the lock screen also works in landscape orientation as you can see there as well as portrait uh, so what I'm gonna do first is uh, I'm just gonna go into settings here just to show you that this is indeed Jelly Bean. Don't know why it's taking so long to load. Oh, it's loading the apps list. Okay, uh, so we'll go to About Tablet, and as you can see, it's an X7, and it is model number 4.1.1. And um, basically, as well, um, it's CyanogenMod Mod 10. Um, that's what Paranoid Android ROM is more or less based off. So you're going to get all the goodness of Cyanogen Mod 10, like the uh, the launcher settings. Um, sorry, no, that's Apex Launcher. <laughs> um, system settings, as you can see, as well as themes and um, and obviously performance. Where you can change your CPU governors, etc. Um, now, where Paranoid Android ROM comes into play really is changing your interface. Now, I'm just you're just going to hop into settings. And it's under Paranoid Settings there. You can see that. So we'll click on that. And from here you have fairly simple options for uh, Paranoid Android. Let's try and get it to focus a bit there. So you have Configuration, Apps and Backup and Restore. We'll go to Configuration first. Now this is where you can choose your launcher style basically and your system user interface, your system UI style. Uh, you can choose a hybrid or you can choose between a tablet and phone user interface. Uh, so what do I mean by that? Well, um, just see if we can get these in the video. As you can see here at the minute I have my clock at the bottom and if you click on the clock it brings up a um, notification tab like it does on tablets. So this is more of a tablet user interface that I'm using at the minute. Uh, you can choose, you can turn hybrid off or on. Uh, it also gives you your system default DBI and your user default DBI at the top there. Uh, you can have a phone user interface. You can have a phablet. Uh, basically, a phablet is the Nexus 7 original. You know where you had the notification bar at the top, and you could oh sorry, and you could uh, you could pull it down. Uh, you also have then. A uh, big tablet size and a small tablet size and a big tablet size. I have the big tablet size installed at the minute. As you can see, it makes everything bigger, uh, which is great for the 7 inch form factor. Um, so, as you can see there, it gives you nice little images to indicate what kind of um, what kind of mode you'll be setting. Basically, you just click on them. You click on one of them, and it'll say reboot. You say yes, and it'll reboot you into your system user interface. Um, it's worth noting that it only changes the system UI and the launcher. Um, it, well, not even the launcher, so to speak, more or less just the system UI, the nav bar at the bottom, and um, and certain system user interface apps like uh, like settings. As you can see here, we have settings changed. Um, it doesn't change apps individually. So you'll notice that if you go into 
Um, I don't know, we'll go into certain apps. I'm trying to think of a an app. We saying gadget. It's still got that phone user interface on, um, even though you're using the tablet system UI. Um, and that's not loading for some reason there. But uh, you get the general idea. That comes Paranoid Android's second strength, which is if you go into Paranoid Settings and then Apps, you can configure apps separately. Um, you can configure apps separately and choose if you want the sorry about that the um, the app to display tablet mode or phone mode, so to speak. A great example of this is a YouTube app. You all know what the YouTube app looks like originally. Uh, with just the, like the tiles across, that's a phone user interface. What you can actually do is you can go down to YouTube, and uh, you can use that's just the size of the uh, you know the uh, the text and stuff, the DVI. So you can just change that, and uh, it'll make the text as you can see bigger and smaller. Uh, you can then choose your user interface, your phone, tablet, or tablet user interface. Uh, I chose tablet as you can see for YouTube. And you can force it if it's uh, a widget. You have to force it because obviously it's running inside the launcher. Um, so we'll just go to preview, and hopefully it should work. And as you can see, we've now got the tablet user interface uh, running on U on the YouTube app. And this is the latest YouTube app. Um, I'll just prove that by going into the market, and you'll see. Um, if I go into my apps, YouTube, there'll be no update for YouTube because it is the latest. So yeah, you can change that and that's Paranoid Android's ROM. Um, basically, that's all it does. Well, not all it does, but obviously, that's its main features. You can enable tablet user interface, phone user interface, and you can also configure apps separately um, to your liking, which is pretty damn cool if you ask me. Um, and then you can also, obviously, do things like you can with CyanogenMod. Uh, like you can like, add small AMs, that kind of stuff, and as you can see now, I've got it at the bottom in the notification bar. Uh, so this ROM is also very fluid. I've had no problems with it whatsoever. Um, it's also increased my Wi-Fi strength because I was having problems with Wi-Fi before. Um, but obviously, it's running on Jelly Bean, so you're going to get all that uh, all that goodness there. Uh, everything's fast to load as well. Um, in terms of app launching, uh, no hiccups at all so yeah guys that's been my ROM review of Paranoid Android um, I'll put the links in the description to the X-Day thread for the Nexus 7 uh, it's a true hybrid ROM um, between phablet, phone and tablet user interface thanks for watching guys please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe